Good day, brothers and sisters. Now, I wasn't going to do this, but after talking with Moon Empath, sending information out, I ended up finding more information. Anna, how do you say that last name? Hetchy? <laughs> this whole thing is sketchy. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. First things first. I want to take you to the parking garage, all right, or the storage facility. I don't know if this is a storage facility, if this is a parking garage, but this is where it all starts, I believe. I believe it all starts here. Now, I don't think she entered the place. I think she left the place, and maybe that's why the guy was talking to her. He's like, yo, I never saw you come in. How'd you get in here? So she never came in, but she's leaving. That means something was in there and something is now coming out because what are we doing? We're faking our death here. What are we using? We're using robots, clone robots. This is. All right, that's her car. You see it's stuck on the corner of the building. She just crashed into it. And the guy's like, yo, what are you doing? Get out. Get out the vehicle. Reverses. Almost hitting him. He gets out the way. Speeds forward. Dude's out of the frame. You can't see him. All right, you hear her speeding off. You hear All right. There's one. All right, now let's, uh, let me get you. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Speeding by. Speeding by this person. Ready? Almost hitting a pedestrian right there. All right. <laughs> I'm not done. Um, uh, that's somebody recording it. Flying by. All right. That was just somebody recording her driving by. That wasn't the doorbell. Here's the doorbell footage. On CBS 2 News of 5, new video just into our newsroom showing a car registered to Anne Heche racing by minutes before the actress was reportedly crashed into a house, sparking a fire. Hi, everyone. I'm Susie Sa in tonight for Pat Harvey. And good evening, everyone. I'm Ross Palumbo in tonight for Jeff Vaughn. TMZ is now reporting that actress Anne Hage was behind the Hage, wheel of that car go. that crashed into a home at La Vista. And she may have suffered serious burns. TMC, TMZ just sharing this photo with us. Wow. 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 She looks like a junkie. Just to let you know, I swallow. I do. I do believe that you know, there might be a robot that might have crashed the car. It might have been her or whichever. But I do believe that the woman is on drugs, and I'm not talking like oh she's prescribed some drugs and she might abuse her medication. No, I mean she's got a dealer on the street pushing her cocaine and fentanyl. Look at that. I know junkies. Trust me. That's a junkie right there. Look at them eyes. Look at the sores on the arm. Come on, you don't give a shit about what you're wearing. Beating your kids in public. Get the fuck out of here. It reportedly shows Haish behind the wheel after she had a fender bender in the parking lot of an apartment building. Yeah, well, you took a later, picture. So, okay. She took off in her Even better. This is right after she got out. So that's her coming out of the thing. For what we just saw, this is her coming out the thing. So what, she been sitting in there getting high for fucking <laughs> all night or some shit? And now she's on her way home? Well, what the fuck was she doing? Where's the investigation at? Car and plowed right into a home nearby. That house is on Walgrove Avenue. And all right. So is what we're going to say here is we're going to say that. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. <sighs> that says it all. What house did she run into? 1766. 66. Mm-hmm. 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 
right before she hits the house. All right, that's the noise. The noise you just heard was her hitting the house. Cooper was driven by actress Anne Hayes. LAPD oh, is not confirming that, but we can confirm that the car is registered to the actress. Let's now take a look at some more video from a short time ago. We've been here all day. But authorities say just before 11 a.m., the woman driving this car was speeding down Preston Way, lost control, hit the curb, went through the bushes, and launched into the home. The car went almost all the way through. The driver was trapped, but firefighters soon arrived and used heavy equipment to get her out of the car. Let's not... Let me stop you right there. They used heavy equipment to get her out of the car. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, when they use heavy equipment to get somebody out of a car, the car looks like it was ripped open, like a tin can was ripped open. It's like taking a can opener to a can and opening it. The only difference is instead of a nice cut going around, it looks like something was chewing on it and then it's folded back over. Okay, They ripped the roof off. They cut it from the frame and then they ripped the roof back so they can remove – the victims safely because of not extending any further injury. Okay. What equipment? What equipment do you what equipment do you see that was used? The only thing missing are the windows. And it's funny, it's not even the windows on the side that the airbag deployed. And yes, I see all the faces. I know everybody else does. I know you see the faces. What did they do? Pull her out of the window? What did they do? Pull her out of the window? What the fuck is that thing on the driver door? Why does it look like some animal? <laughs> Even to the left of it. What is that? What is that? Why does it look like a polar bear? <laughs> Hold on. Maybe understand, brothers and sisters, that pixels. Because you got to understand this whenever, even whenever you're doing your sky footages, the pixels alone, the pixels alone will create an image that is truly not there. Like I just said, oh, that looks like a panda, right? Now it looks like an elephant. <laughs> but I have an active imagination. Other people don't. I see spirits burnt into the side of that car. But okay, screw that. Screw spirit world. Let's stay in this world. Where do you see heavy equipment used to pull her out of the vehicle? That door was never opened. They didn't pry the door open. Sorry. That, no, you can tell that didn't happen. They didn't cut. So they pulled her out of the vehicle, right? Because she was already dead. They were trying to hurry up and get her out of the vehicle. They did not have time. Because she was already dead. Because she was already Whatever it is. I mean, could this woman still be alive? And this was all a fake? I don't know. That's why I said, where's the investigation? And that's why we do these videos. Because if there is no investigation, there you go. If there's, because you can't say this is the fault of the car. You can't say this is the fault of the car. Because... Of all the other videos you just saw leading up to this. She was operating the vehicle in a manner that she didn't care about other people's lives nor her own. That was already established. So it's not the vehicle. Vehicle bursting up in flames like that? It Paul Walker in? Now that's a little fishy. That's a little fishy. The car should have just ran it up, ran it up into the house. And that should have been it. It shouldn't have burst up into flames like that. Now, Paul Walker's car did that because it was this huge race car. And it that's just how it was designed. That is how they designed that Porsche. That Porsche. It's just, it was bad design. This is not a bad design car. This is a PT Cruiser. This is a very, very safe, nice vehicle. Just to let you know, it's very fast, too. And she looks like she's got a fully loaded one. So, I mean, look at the flame. Look how hard those flames were. Look what it did to that. Look what the flames did to that. 
Now, the news just lied to you saying that they used equipment to get her out of the vehicle, and we clearly see no equipment was used. Well, hit the curb, went through the bushes, and launched out of the car. Let's now go to another piece of video. This video showing the woman on a stretcher for flailing and according to neighbors screaming at the time authorities say she suffered burns and was taken to the hospital in critical condition la city fire tells us when the car crashed six, three. it on fire and the fire started spreading into there's the your home, six 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 in- there's 66 on the door and then there was six three right there on the fucking ambulance there's your code people there it is you will not see this go any further just to let you know Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give you the footage that everybody's talking about. This is the thing. How did she Paul Walker it and get up off that stretcher like that? If she was presumed dead, the sheet over them, yeah, you could say, oh, well, you know, maybe because of the burns and the sun hitting her, you don't, you know, they don't want it to get any worse from the sun. That's garbage because half of her legs were uncovered, which would probably be one of the worst burnt spots of her. And you see she's all strapped in there, nice and perfect. Like there's something above her head. Now, there could be pillows. There could be whatever they got for burn victims, wrapped her up in that kind of stuff because she is burnt. Once you see her sit up on the stretcher, she's burnt. Now, understand, this woman also had a lot of lung issues. Like she was on medications and all sorts of stuff because she has really bad lungs. Probably from smoking too much crack. Who knows? I'm sorry. I don't mean to talk shit about this woman, but this woman is not a saint. She's not. I mean, not to mention that the toxicology report from her when she was in the hospital that they found cocaine and fentanyl all in her system. And I'm pretty sure they found more stuff inside the vehicle that didn't burn away because the needles just don't burn away like that. Um, Understand that these people have a choice. And if they want to continue to stay in the spotlight, that the spirit world is way stronger than any of us. And it does come after people, especially whenever you worship things like Lucifer and Satan and the sun and all that stuff. When you don't worship the God of gods, you try to ruin the God of gods. You try to hurt him and his people. Uh, They all have a choice right now. And this is the choice some of them are taking. Now, I've already deleted my TikTok. I don't really care about it. I just wanted to open it. But while I was on it the other day, this is pretty much the reason why I got rid of it too. This kid right here is a kid. I'm not going to play the volume or nothing because he's just acting like a fool, complaining about galaxies because people keep sending him galaxies on TikTok and he's, you know, he flips out. Okay. But as what? (laughs) Read what I write. Shape shifting. (laughs) Shape shifter. Okay, this is a son of somebody famous, just to let you know, like some governor or something like that. And I don't really know what he's doing, but he's just flipping out, you know, building this uh, this house of cards, right? Now, when he's agitated like he is, okay, you see him? When he's agitated, you see that? Look at the cards. You see him bending. You see all that happening. That's because the hologram. And then look, second he focuses – They go back, right? When he's disoriented, the cards start to bend and start to do something stupid. But then he focuses, and when he focuses, it goes straight back. That's hologram technology in a human body. That is not a human. Let's let's just continue to sit here and watch it. Just watch. Watch the cards. Because he's going to flip out. And when he gets mad, you see the car, you see him even stacking on the stuff like that while he's talking and everything. He's agitating himself on purpose so he can shapeshift on camera. These are things that they do. These are things that they do. This is the occult. These are the aliens. And they have a choice.